Hey everybody, CRS trapping back again. Uh, Sunday, uh, I think it's the 25th, I think. The day after I found out I got friggin' robbed. So anyhow, uh, long story short, I just uh, said the hell with it. The end of uh, the end of otter season and cat season for me in Nova Scotia is uh, Wednesday or Thursday. So uh, I just said the hell with it. I'll pull them now. Uh, work's starting to pick up for me again now that the weather's getting warmer. So I uh, I mightn't have the time to uh, actually get back where they were. Uh, I did leave the mink boxes out. I'll be able to get to them uh, quick enough. Uh, so yeah, so uh, that's us. But uh, I'm almost uh, certain uh, after talking to quite a few people uh, yesterday and last night, uh, we're almost uh, certain, me and a couple other people, there's some guys that own uh, camps up and through here. Uh, where I go through uh, long story short they got broken into as well uh, as well as a couple uh, uh, storage sheds uh, on this side where I know people so they uh, they got a rough idea who it was and uh, yeah so hopefully here uh, I'll be doing a video of uh, my traps being returned <laughs> or at least me getting them back anyhow but yeah, we're almost certain, uh, we're almost certain they know who was up here. There was a older gentleman, he had seen, uh, four of them up here on four wheelers. And they had big duffel bags, he said, and he found it kind of weird, so. So that would explain why, uh, some camping, uh, from my understanding, out of, uh, the one, uh, the one camp, I guess, there's, uh, some lanterns missing, the stove, uh, 30 pound propane tank that was full and uh, two uh, two 22s are gone I guess and uh, yeah as well as uh, two of my traps and like I say that's why today I just came up I said the hell with this like I can't afford that man people be stealing and stuff but uh, yeah the good thing about having a rapport with, uh, within the community boy I'll tell you it doesn't take long for uh, people to track your stuff down if they like you like I say that was only 24 hours and pretty much finding out from like I say from a few of these guys of uh, some of their stuff going missing word started to spread pretty quick that uh, you know people were looking for some stuff and if anybody might have seen it or heard anybody selling it, we were starting to look on uh, the computer there online for the local uh, buy and sell ads and stuff. And so, yeah, so hopefully, like I say, we'll, uh, we'll get them back. If not, uh, shit, man, I, I definitely uh, learned a valuable lesson. Uh, that's for sure. But yeah, on that note, uh, for the most part, I think for me, I think uh, trapping may be done. Um, as far as uh, other than uh, the mink boxes, I think uh, I think I have till the end of March for mink, but I don't even know if I'll do that. Quite honestly, uh, I haven't caught any yet, and I'm pretty sure they'll go into mating and stuff and all that. So I don't want to do that, but. Yeah, I'll definitely be doing uh, a lot of uh, videos here soon of uh, scouting trips. I've been doing a lot of uh, Google Earthing, and uh, I think uh, I think it's time to venture a little farther away from home. That's for sure. I thought, you know, being up in this end of town, well, not end of town, but I guess being as far away as I am right now, I figured I was safe and what have you but christ uh like i say I, when i was uh on the big river and stuff like that trapping i was closer to people's houses and stuff like that than i am up here and i got robbed here but not down not not down on the 
But yeah, I think I might uh, concentrate next year, maybe uh, on that big river, as far as uh, the otters and stuff go, unless I can find something that's far enough back in the bloody woods. I, like I say, I thought this was back far enough, but obviously not. You know, always got to be one in the crowd. But anyhow, yeah, uh, on that note, um, hopefully we'll get uh, some scouting videos up and uh, fishing videos. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't uh, maybe uh, post a couple videos from work there and stuff. Just show you guys what I do and what have you. And, uh, yeah. So for a first time, uh, for a first year trapping, I really, really had a lot of fun. Uh, I learned a lot. I know I still have a lot, lot, lot more to learn, but I, I really did. I had a lot of fun doing this, and uh, I, I can't wait till next year. It's going to be fun. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I'll probably be picking up some more traps over uh, the spring and summer as well. Um, I'd like to get some footholds for coyotes and stuff like that, bobcats. Uh, I'd like to pick up some more beaver, 330s. Obviously, now i got to pick up some more 220s, obviously. Fuck. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we'll keep posting videos. Uh, they might be a little bit further apart, but, uh, like I say, uh, yeah. So, uh, on that note, like I say, everybody, uh, I had a lot of fun, uh, just, uh, being a first year guy trapping, I had a lot of fun, um, thank everybody for all the advice, all the tips, um, I'm, I'm really glad that, uh, I'm really glad that I took this hobby up, and, uh, yeah, I, I really, really look forward to next year, I can't wait, so, uh, on that note, that's it for me for, I think, trapping, except for a couple of mink boxes. And if I get a mink, I'll uh, post it here, but I think I'm probably only going to let that go for like two more weeks, maybe. And then I'll just get that out of there, too. And, uh, yeah. But other than that, uh, thanks a lot, everybody, for uh, the comments, the subs. Um, you know, the, the the helpful hints and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll close her down for 2017, 2018 trapping season for me anyhow, I think. And uh, on that note, everybody be safe. Happy trapping. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, post, uh, we'll post some uh, different videos just, uh, like I say, of maybe uh, some work that I do, uh, fishing videos for sure. Be doing some fishing here soon, and uh, you know, just other stuff that I randomly do. But yeah, okay, everybody. Thanks a lot for everything, and uh, happy trails. <laughs>